Well, actually, I'm going to answer a slightly different question because I don't think the women on this panel should be relegated only to women's issues, and it would be the second gender-based question. I'd love to hear all the men on that, but let, let, me, let me first say there's no question that commercial mainstream American hip-hop not only responds to a legacy of violence against black people, but it also exacerbates and glorifies it. Commercial mainstream American hip-hop. This conversation has acted as if hip-hop is one thing or another, an entire monolith. And by ignoring the extraordinary commercial penetration of hip-hop, and I use that word advisedly, what we've allowed to happen is to render meaningful criticism of the commercial takeover of a black cultural form designed not only to liberate but to create critical consciousness and turned it into the cultural arm of predatory capitalism in the last 30 years. Right. And so I love hip hop so much, I must speak the truth about the demise of the spirit of hip hop in so far as it has been taken over by these ideas, so much so that this young gentleman here thinks that this is funny, right? That calling black women bitches is, is funny. And, and we egged him on with your laughter. So I'd like you all to ask yourselves why you thought that was so funny. Exactly.